everyone welcome to my channel today I'm gonna do a Scorpio reading this is gonna be March 30th through the uh, April 5th please remember it is a general reading if you'd like something more specific my information is in the description box um, I am a little bit limited on readings right now um, so just check with me on the timing okay and um, the information's in the description box. This will be your sun, your moon, your rising, and your Venus signs. Uh, this, again, this is general. Uh, timing is flexible, but if this does not resonate with you, which it may not, um, because there's so many of you out there, uh, you can check out your other signs. Uh, there's a video playlist link. There's weekly, monthly, timeless readings. I have a 2020 reading in there as well. Okay, so feel free to check those out. Um, the last thing I have for you is I'm doing a giveaway at the end of the month. And I'm giving away two personal readings. And to enter, you just have to subscribe, like, and comment. If you're already a subscriber, you know you just have to like and comment. I have two uh, personal readings. One is going to be the collective of all of the videos that I do. Uh, subscribes, likes, and comments. You know, each time you like and comment on a video, you're entered. And then the second one, um, there's a video in my playlist, the uh, March readings for weekly readings. It is um, the winner video. It says winners and then pick an angel or pick a stack reading. If you watch that reading and then like and comment, you're also entered. Uh, for the second giveaway and the second giveaway is just going to be the people on that video Okay, so it's, there's better odds on that video if you're interested Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to first tell you all the decks. I'm using a uh, angel answer deck Because I forget and then people ask me we have romance angels We have the um, Archangel power tarot deck and then we have the Arcanum uh, tarot deck as well. Okay, so I'm gonna put all the cards out and then we'll start the reading, okay? So thank you angels and spirit for your guidance. Let's get one card, one card here for Scorpio. Let's get one card from Romance Angels for Scorpio, March 30th through the 5th. What message do you have for Scorpio? Let's go. Ooh, ooh. Okay, looks like you got two cards, Scorpio. So let's put this here. And then let's get one card from the Archangel Power Tarot deck. One card for Scorpio. One card from Scorpio. For Scorpio. There it is, right there. All right, let's get your cards here. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. Lovers, what messages do you have for Scorpio? Three of Pentacles, Eight of Wands, Temperance, that Sun, beautiful. We can all use some sunshine right now. Let's get one more card, please. And the Emperor. Okay, bottom of the deck. We have Five of Swords. Okay, maybe some conflict or drama around you. But right away I got the message that you're moving away from that. That's what I'm feeling here, okay? All right, first card out. You have no need to worry here. This is your angel saying, um, I feel like they're saying you're protected. There's no, there's no need to worry here, okay? There's going to be um, sunshine. There's going to be that rainbow here. Um, so if there's something that's been heavy on your mind, and I'm sure there's a lot on your mind right now with everything going on, but your angels want you to know there's no need to worry here, okay? You're protected. And being protected, I forgot to say at the beginning of the reading, I'll also be doing one Archangel Michael message at the end of the reading. Um, he's been calling me to 
read his messages here. He's our protector. Okay, so we have the Knight of Ariel. Trustworthy, understanding, devoted, and funny. There is so much to accomplish. Make a very detailed plan. Being watched over by someone kind. Okay, so I feel like um, here this is an indication. Um, this is about making a detailed plan to plan for your future, to try and keep things stable here. This can also be a message of good news. Okay, you may receive a message from somebody um, that's very kind, somebody that may want to help you out. Okay, somebody who just may want to cheer you up at this time as well. Okay. Um, so definitely feel here. There's something here. Somebody's going to plant a seed is what I'm getting to. You can see um, somebody's planting a seed here, or there may be something financial. You can see that this angel here, there may be an act of kindness where someone gives you some money as well. Um, or this can be somebody uh, coming in with a message where there's something that's going to grow from it, okay? There's going to be progress made, but it's going to be slow and steady. It's not going to be all at once, all right? Now, remember, this is a general reading. This means anything goes. can be love, finances, career. Love comes in all forms. can be family, friends, lovers, love interest, uh, friends, co-workers, all of the above here, okay? So take it how it resonates. Now, you have two cards here from Romance Angels. One, you have forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in the present moments, okay? So there may be somebody here that um, you're trying to forgive. This can also be self-forgiveness, okay? Or this can also be that you're holding on to past situations that you need to let go of, okay? So, you know, letting go of those situations and healing and moving forward um, and forgiving the situation is really going to help you here, okay? I'm also getting here, you know, with everything going on, uh, I feel like there's this energy of um, why did this happen? Why did this happen to me? You know, it's affected me so deeply here. It's affecting a lot of people deeply here. Um, and it's very understandable here. That's the message I'm getting. Um, you know, and just know that spirit and your angels are around you. You can see here, okay? And again, like I said in the first card, I feel you're, you're protected here, okay? So um, try not to worry. I know it's hard. And then the second card you have is let your friends help you ask for and accept support from others, okay? Uh, this message has been coming out a lot, came out um, in other readings with the Angel Answer deck, okay, because there's a card with the same message here. And I talked about somebody kind, okay, somebody may be helping you out, somebody may be um, giving you some kind gesture, may even be giving you finances here. So I feel here definitely um, somebody's going to be helping you, okay. And whatever the situation here is for love, you may be leaning on friends for support here as well, okay, if this is a love situation. Okay, so let's move on to the tarot portion. All right, you have three major arcana cards here, okay, all um, in sync with each other. You have the lovers and you have the temperance, okay? I feel like this situation can involve, obviously a love interest here could be Gemini energy or could be Sagittarius energy. Remember, um, the roles can be reversed here. And also that, um, you know, if the signs come up for you, great, and they resonate, um, it will make it resonate stronger. If they don't, it can be any sign here, so don't get so caught up in the signs. I get that a lot um, on my personal reading ques for questions, okay? So this is about um, self-control, balancing your emotions, okay? Um, again, I feel like this is um, angel guidance helping you as well. Um, but I feel like there's a situation, could be a past situation um, or could be happening presently but I feel like this is somebody you already know from your past okay and I feel like there's a deep emotional attachment here 
definitely spiritual. Um, two of you are very, very connected here. Okay, but I feel like there's some emotion around the situation. You're trying to keep it in balance. This can also be here, um, you know, if this is not love, this can be choices. Okay, this can be choices. There could be something too that's of temptation here is what I'm getting. All right, um, but I feel here there's something here that you need to try and keep in balance during this time. And for the most part, it's emotions, whether it's love or not love. And, you know, it's right in alignment here with no need to worry. Okay, so your worry may be um, overcoming you. Okay, that may cause, you know, it hard for you to control your emotions here, which is very understandable. But the good news here, look at this. You have the sun card and you have the three of pentacles. And then this is in, in alignment here with the Knight of Ariel where I talked about there's some message, there's some act of kindness, somebody's going to help you and support you here. And the Three of Pentacles shows that this is collaborating as a team or, or you know, more than one person um, working together in unison. Okay, so I feel here there's definitely somebody here that's going to help you out, is going to want to work with you. This could be love. Okay, could be somebody, um, I feel like this could be somebody new with the Sun card. There could be somebody new coming in in love um, to want to help you. And I feel like this is going to bring you peace and happiness here with the Sun card. This could be Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo energy. And with the Sun card, this could be Leo. Um, for a small percentage of you, you know, you could be pregnant. This person could be helping you um, during this time okay to help you with that as well or this could be the good news coming in that you're pregnant uh, a lot of different situations but remember that one's not going to be for everyone okay if this is not love for you okay i feel like there could be some project here or something you're working on um, you could be working on um, you know some project that's going to help the community i feel you know this is something that's like posted in the window that a lot of people can see so you know there may be some project that you're working on that's going to help the community help the world um, you may be posting stuff on youtube okay and this may be your own act of kindness that's that's happening here but it's going to bring a lot of happiness to people or you okay the next two cards that you have you have the eight of wands and you have the emperor okay so, um, like I said, I feel like for some of you, there could be somebody new coming in. Okay, this is like Cupid's arrow here, getting ready to strike. Something moving towards you could be this, this emperor energy here, could be an Aries. All right, so I definitely feel here there's um, some passion coming your way, some communication. Could be romance here. Eight of Wands is fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, for some of you, this could be, you know, a past person, somebody that you've been trying to forgive here, okay, maybe reaching out to you. And, um, you know, this person, you know, may have not, um, may have not communicated their feelings to you in the past. This person's very self-controlled, um, very business-oriented. For others, this could be about business or career, okay, there may be some, um, message coming in you know I talked about this message coming in there may be some communication related to your job related to your business okay something here pretty quickly okay some of you may this can also be about travel somebody may you may have to travel somewhere for business is what I'm getting as well okay so let's see what the um, bottom of the deck has to say for clarity I talked about five of swords okay so Five of Swords energy, um, you know, there could be conflict here. You know, most of your cards are pretty positive here. The only one, you know, the forgiving and learning, there may be somebody that you may be in conflict f or had a past conflict with, and you're trying to let it go, okay? Um, I don't feel like this is new conflict. I feel like this is past conflict. This can also be um, the drama of everything that's going on around us. So feeling like everything's kind of stormy around us right now is what I'm getting. Uh, this is air energy, uh, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. 
you also look you have the ace of swords okay so this is about a fresh clean start here okay taking all the wisdom um, that you have and the divine wisdom and gaining clarity and having a new start here so i feel like there's something that's going to happen here it's some communication that's going to come in all right um, that's going to bring you some happiness i feel here it's going to make things clearer for you um, i feel again that you're going to have a new start here in some way shape or form again this is air energy aquarius libra or gemini um, cutting out all this past could be cutting out all this past drama and this conflict as well and look here what you have here two of cups okay so definitely um, this could be somebody new coming in for you a soulmate here um, somebody that you're going to feel very connected to emotionally attached to like I said I feel like there may be somebody coming in this could be a past person as well you know this person that you you want to forgive there could have been some drama and there may now be an opportunity for a fresh start and then look here yeah so we have the eight of swords so you may have been in this energy where you felt stuck um, things may have seen seemed unclear okay feeling like you're not making any progress or movement um, but I feel like that's changing here there's some fast energy coming in here for you okay you got the sun card uh, working on things okay definitely feel like there's change coming in here and you may have like I said you may have had this worry uh, mentality but I feel here things are definitely going to change for you okay Scorpio let's pull one um, card from Archangel Michael deck we're gonna get one message from Archangel Michael thank you well, that was too soon. Let's get one card for you, Scorpio, from Archangel Michael. What message do you have? There it is. Okay. Okay, so the card that you have is called Honor and Trust Your Feelings. Honor and Trust Your Feelings. Archangel Michael urges you to look inward and listen, for this card is a sign that your feelings are accurately tuned into the truth. Some of these feelings may be uncomfortable to face, yet they're with you for an important reason. If you're conflicted, sit down with pen and paper and conduct an interview with your emotional self by asking what are you feeling, why, and what would you like me to do? Your feelings will speak loudly and clearly if you keep an open mind and trust what you hear. Respect your inner voice as the powerful life force that connects you to the divine. Often God and the angels answer your prayers and offer you guidance through your physical and emotional feelings. If you say, oh, it's just a feeling, you're ignoring vital divine assistance. This card reminds you to listen, really listen to your feelings. So possible specific meanings, it's time to admit that you're unhappy in a certain situation and take appropriate corrective action. Someone's trying to talk you out of feeling a certain way. Stick to what you know and feel as a barometer. And the prayer, if you want to say it with me, is... Thank you, Archangel Michael, for supporting, guiding, and protecting me as I listen to and act upon my feelings. Help me understand and express my emotions with love. So beautiful, beautiful energy there um, with Archangel Michael. This is also a message of, you know, um, that you are powerful, okay, and, and have faith and have trust that everything's working out for your highest good here. All right, Scorpio, I hope you enjoyed this reading. Again, if you want to enter for the giveaways, subscribe, like, comment. I appreciate it. I read all of your comments, and I appreciate you so much. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening, and I'm sending you angel love.